So let's begin with faith schools uh, and this question from one of our viewers or listeners, Martin from Cheshire. Mm. He thinks they're divisive, that they're not good for social cohesion and thinks they should be scrapped. So should we ban faith schools? Well, I think that, Mercy, we need to adopt a nuanced view. Uh, I think some faith schools do an excellent job in terms of raising education standards. Uh, they also do a great deal of interfaith work in terms of uh, trying to develop bonds of social trust and mutual respect between uh, different ethnic and religious groups in a particular local community. But the issue with illegal unregist unregistered schools are that um, <clears throat> they meet the definition of a private um, independent school, the legal definition, but they're not registered with the Department for Education. And that is often because um, they are intentionally operating in a way to be separated from mainstream systems when it comes to the welfare, safety and educational um, instruction uh, for children. And I think it's really important that the government does clamp down on illegal unregistered schools, which are often un unsafe and squalid. Um, the Chief Inspector of uh, Ofsted, Amanda Spielman, recently said that these are not conditions that she would even put a dog in, um, never mind a human child. Uh, so we really need to be aware of the risks um, involved with illegal unregistered schools. And recent Ofsted figures show that one in five are uh, places of religious instruction. Mm. So we have to be really wary of the kind of narratives which are being peddled within yeah. such educational establishments. Yeah, I, I was actually going to make that point. 21% uh, are faith schools of these mm. illegal schools. And uh, 2019, 500 suspected illegal schools were found mm. uh, by schools watchdog Ofsted. But I just do want to ask you another question. And this is one that's been alluded to by our viewers as well. Uh, Liz says, mm. can we talk about illegal schools filling kids' heads with uh, extremism and who knows what? This is how relations fail between different groups. And I just wondered, you know, if a school's deliberately trying to evade Ofsted, trying to evade having to work within the, the sort of framework of regulated schools, isn't that suspicious? That tells me they want to be teaching kids things that they shouldn't be teaching kids. Oh, absolutely. As I said, they are they intentionally operate um, in a way for them to be separated um, from the mainstream uh, mainstream education system. And much of that will be motivated by uh, the reality that within those education, some of those educational establishments, they want to be teaching material which is not necessarily conducive to uh, aspirations in terms of developing uh, social cohesion um, in local communities. And I think that uh, Amanda Spielman, the um, Chief, Chief Inspector of Ofsted, uh, she made it very clear that quite often these illegal unregistered um, settings, um, they're, in, they're in segregated communities. Uh, within that one in five um, figure, when it comes to legal unregistered settings being places of religious instruction. Um, the majority were Islamic establishments. There were also Jewish and Christian establishments within that uh, one in five figure. Uh, but what was remarkable was that Amanda Spielman said that the, the figure of, uh, in terms of the number of children being at illegal unregistered settings, it could be in the tens of thousands. And I think that does pose a risk in terms of social cohesion.